glad we got a little weather blowing through the area. They say we could get some severe stuff. I don't know. They say the major threat is large hail, like baseball sized hail and high wind. It's blowing right now, but I wouldn't consider this high wind. You get up like 75, 80 miles an hour. That, that, that's pretty, pretty high. So we'll see what happens. Clouds rolling in. Just started raining a little bit ago. And I'll let you know if anything comes out of it. Actually, they say uh, tornadoes are a possibility as well. Cooling off a little bit. It was about 80 degrees. Not sure what it is right now. Actually have a couple chances of severe weather. Have it uh, this afternoon, evening. I think overnight we're just supposed to get rain. Tomorrow I don't think it's supposed to be too bad. I think the next severe weather is Tuesday, but we're supposed to have rain off and on for the next several days, up to uh, up to four inches possibly. And I'm just messing around down here in the shop. I'm ready to paint the doors and the hood on the old Bronco here. Yeah, ready to get this stuff painted. Just can't do it right now. Temperature's okay, but with the rain outside, that, that's no good. Humidity's way up, and and it's it's too darn windy. So we will get to putting some paint on on some of this stuff here real soon. Well, it's a rather cruddy day here in Iowa. It's only about 50 degrees out right now. Windy, it's supposed to get really windy this afternoon. And in a couple hours, it's supposed to start raining and rain the rest of the day. I think we're supposed to get one to two inches. Yuck. And down here a little bit, got the heat on in the shop. Got the old smoker fired up today, loaded up with beef jerky. And before I get going in the video, if you like what you see here, hit that like button, give it a big old thumbs up. Comments go down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, along with a little notification bell. That way you will get an alert every time I upload a video. So as you know, like I keep mentioning, I want to get the inside of the hood and the doors painted, but can't do that quite yet because it's too darn cold out. It's only about 50 degrees. Looks like probably, probably this weekend, this coming weekend, I'm going to be able to do that. And in order to, uh, to get the hood and the doors painted at the same time, I'm going to make a couple more saw horses. So I went down and I got me some two by fours. These are seven foot two by fours. And I think I want to make seven foot two seven foot uh, saw horses out of these. That way I can, I think I can get both doors in one sitting there. These old ones, which these are very old. I pulled these out of a shed that doesn't even exist anymore, probably 20 years ago. They'll hold the hood just fine. And then with these big ones, I believe I can get both of the doors on there. And then these, of course, are just the brackets for the for the legs and the main part of the sawhorse. So, get these all out. Gonna have to pull the saw out. Make some legs. I'm thinking I can make them 30 inches long. I'm just gonna make them make the whole sawhorse seven feet long. Screw it together. So I said I was gonna make these legs 30 inches long. The legs on those other ones are 27. So that's why I'm going to make these. I like them to be close to the same. So just got to measure these off. Mark them, and then I'll get the saw out and cut them. So I'm going to go ahead and mark all these legs off, and then I'll uh, then I'll then I'll cut the legs. So like I said, I've got the saw out. I think that'll work. I may have to move it somewhere else. Anyway, I'm not going, anyway, I'm not gonna mark all these off. I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna use that one as a template to measure, measure the next one.
Now we're going to put these on your 2x4s for the legs. We'll go in here. There's a little tab inside there. And there's a little tab inside there. So you run your 2x4 up till it meets that. And I'm going to use screws to hold these on. Those, those old ones have nails. They keep popping out. And then you do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and get these legs put together and then we'll, we'll finish them off. Now all we have to do is screw this top part on and uh, this one's done. So it is the next day, once, once again. Got busy doing beef jerky and just other things last night. I got these finished up though. I think those are gonna work out pretty, pretty well for putting the doors on and future use. Seven foot long, they're supposed to hold, a pair of these is supposed to hold 300 pounds. That's what these brackets are rated for. I, I think it could do that. So with two of them, I, I guess you could, uh, I guess you could put something that weighs 600 pounds on those. Theoretically, I'm, I'm not sure I would try that. But now we can get to painting the inside of the doors and the hood. I'm gonna move those, a little breezy out here, move the sawhorses out here just to get them out of the shop. And I think I'll be painting here in the next, next day or day or three. Pretty sure the day after tomorrow I can, it's not supposed to be windy and temperature will be good. So, so I think we can probably make that happen. Sometime I'm gonna have to mow the yard and then get the baler out, it's pretty long. It's always longer than it looks. Anyway, that's what I'm up to right now. I'm gonna get those, I'm gonna grab these sawhorses here in a minute, move them out, and then I'm gonna work on cleaning this place up a little bit. It's kinda of getting out of control and I need to kick the cats out. Once again, I think I have something down at my P.O. box. I haven't made it down there in the last week or so, and I don't think my alerts are working. But if you have a license plate for the license plate wall, or if you have anything else you want to send into the Fox Shop, address where you can do so is down in the description. Also a link down there for t-shirts, hoodies, channel stickers, that kind of thing. Also hope if any of you are from Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, that area, hope you're all doing okay with all the tornadoes that they've been having down there. I guess we had one, it'd be southwest of me a little ways. Had one last night and killed somebody. I think it destroyed their house and a bunch of, bunch of buildings. It was out on a farm. We didn't experience any, any bad weather here. Just cold, wind, wet. Looks like the weather's gonna start turning around for the better. It's gonna be in the middle to upper 70s through, through all next week at least. And it should, it's almost June. Anyway guys, not real sure how long this video is, but give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time, bye bye.